Day of the Liberation of Ukraine from Nazi Invaders, Four Soviet Myths, a Telegram channel tells the readers about the misconceptions associated with the expulsion of the Nazis from Ukraine. Myth 1, October 28 Since the times of the USSR, October 28 has been considered the day of the final expulsion of the Nazi occupiers from Ukraine. In fact, the Germans and Hungarians were finally driven out of the city of Chop only on November 23rd. Myth 2, Liberation of Ukraine Liberation, Gaining Freedom Between 1941 and 1945, the Soviet leadership encouraged the Ukrainians by appealing to patriotic feelings and promised to weaken the political regime after the victory. But as soon as the enemy was driven out, all concessions were curtailed. The inclusion of the Ukrainian SSR in the UN served only the political goals of the USSR. Therefore, Ukraine became free and independent only on August 24, 1991. Myth 3, Russia could win without Ukraine in total, the anti-Hitler coalition included 58 states and sovereign territories. The contribution of most of them was significantly less significant than that of the Ukrainian people. Thus, 23% of the personnel of the Soviet army were Ukrainians, the direct human losses of Ukraine amounted to 8 to 10 million people. The powerful industry of Ukraine worked for the needs of the front, a significant part of which was evacuated to the rear. Some of the key battles for the liberation of Europe from Nazism also took place here. Myth 4, only Soviet troops defeated the Nazis under Lend-Lease, the USSR received military equipment, food, and other things to support the economy and conduct military operations. Germany could not concentrate all its forces against the Soviet troops, since it was simultaneously fighting on other fronts, in the rear, at sea and in the air.